Greetings, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in with me for your weekend message for June 15th and June 16th. Um, I actually recorded your weekend message yesterday, June 14th, but um, I had some issues with the uploading. So I'm recording again. So, uh, uh, this is for Saturday, June 15th and June 16th. For those who are new to my channel, I am a psychic medium, which just means um, when I do personal readings, I do not use any cards. And live readings, you can catch me in action there as well. I'm trying to start that back up. It will be on Mondays. Definitely tune in if you want a message or if you just want to see how I read with others. However... Um, but if you want to book with me, that information is listed in the description as well as other sites um, to uh, have access to other readings, things like that, like Patreon. Also, I'm in a psychic medium site as well, so you can tune in over there. Um, definitely to tune in to uh, Instagram and Facebook for any updates, things like that. I always put updates mostly in the stories so you definitely want to uh, tap into my stories if you want a message um, or I mean not a message but update on anything that I'm doing okay all right so I am going to get started again all information is listed in the description of this video read the about me section for any information that you need or that you want to know about me okay Aries, let's get started. Aries, Aries, spirit, please show us a weekend message for Aries, Saturday and Sunday. Let's try that again. That did not seem right, feel right. Aries, spirit, please show us a message for Aries. This message, uh, sometime in the afternoon, though, it may, I don't know, depends on the upload, how long it takes, but whenever you get it, I hope you like it. Show us a message for Aries. Aries, what is the message for Aries? Energy. Okay. Perfect timing. Aries. Show us a message for Aries weekend. Ooh. Yeah, the energy is here. Aries. Please show us a message for Aries. June 15th. And June 16th. Aries. They want to come out, but they're just not coming out fully. Okay. Alright, Aries. You have death. Um, which is Scorpio. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. Or you have um, Scorpio placements. Show us more on death. Three of Pentacles. So for some of you, you could be working together, working, um, working together with the Scorpio, or this is what you're wanting, or this is what is going to happen. Okay, we have. Uh, there's definitely for some of you, this is not the case as far as working together with. Um, it don't necessarily have to be a Scorpio, but I mean it's here, but um, this is also. A transformation due to your work this weekend so maybe something that's ch is changing but it's definitely this change I feel like you need to accept it because it may be hard to accept or like something that you don't want at this time but maybe you want it but not right now or something like that uh, it may be time it's not and not maybe it is time for this change to happen uh, it looked like it's a lot of chaos. It could be chaotic in this in this work in this job. Or let's get one more for 
So I don't know if this could be on your mind this weekend or if you're actually working this weekend. This is an issue, okay? If, but you need to end it. End it somewhere. That's what they're saying. I feel like this has been coming up. Maybe um, maybe in my Patreon. I'm not sure, but it sounds familiar. Show us more on the three. Okay. Knight of Cups. Okay. Show us more on the Knight of Cups. Six of Pentacles. All right. So it's like once you end it with this, whatever this job is, it looks like your dreams is going to come true. For some of you, you could be dealing with a, a water sign, a Scorpio in particular, or a Pisces Cancer Scorpio. Um, but it looked like uh, it's like ending something in order to go forward towards something that you really... So that could be like what it is, like in order for you to reach this dream, spirit is like you got to let go of this temporary job whatever this temporary it's supposed to been temporary maybe you are holding on to it uh too long or you know trying to st stick with it until you find something else but it's like you gotta let go of that in order to gain whatever it is that you really desire or yeah it, it looks like a dream is about to come true for you for some of you you're missing a water sign pisces cancer or scorpio or this Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio is missing you. Um, there's look. It looked like a wish fulfillment is coming in for you pertaining to, to this. But it looked like there's some betrayal due to a family situation. Um, someone could be trying to block you from your, from your stability, from your happiness. Um, yeah, it looked like things is coming together between you and a water sign. But it looked like there's a blockage here. Um... Alright, so this weekend, it just let you know there's an ending for a new beginning. There's a transformation due to your work, your work life, and your love life. Okay. Alright, I'm going to move on now to Taurus. Thank you, Spirit. Alright, Taurus. What is the message for Taurus, Spirit? Please show us. Weekend message for Taurus. Hold on. <laughs> like, what? All right, Taurus spirit. Okay, what? Why are these cars acting like this in your message? Taurus, they all over the place. Taurus, are you all over the place? You got too much going on or so much you want to do? Show us a message for Taurus. Taurus weekend message. What is the message this weekend for Taurus spirit? Please show us a message for Taurus. Please show us a message for Taurus. Three, I mean, two of wands. What else for Taurus? In the tower. Yeah, you got so much that you want to do. You plan it. It's like, okay, I'm going to do that. I, I need to go to the store. I need to go and grab that. I need to, uh, oh, I need to go pick up that too. Or I need to, I need to put in, oh, you know what? Let me go ahead and pick up an extra day of work. <laughs> like, what are you doing a lot? All right, so you're planning. You could be planning and then voila, boom. You figure it all out. It's like, okay, because you could be like kind of all over the place at first. But then it's like whatever this plan that you come however it's like you sit down for a second you stand still for a second and you're like okay no i'm not about to just go let me go ahead and figure this out okay i'm gonna do that i'm gonna go there and then i'm gonna go there and then i'm gonna do that last okay so this is what you're doing or this is what you need to do this weekend so you can have it all together um because it definitely looked like you trying to do a lot at once <laughs> yeah what show us more on the tower for taurus for this weekend message ten of cups this could be pertaining to family your children like all right i, I gotta go to my family my people house i need to go pick up my children or i need i need to take them somewhere and like what are you doing a lot they're saying to make a plan it's gonna work out slow down your thoughts slow down your mind and think about a plan this weekend um, it definitely don't seem like you're, you're, you're chilling. It looks like you got things to do. All right. Things you want to do. Definitely looking like it's fast action here. 
But just, I feel like you might want to... Some of these plans you need to keep to yourself. I don't know what this is pertaining to. You know, maybe it's certain plans that you, you haven't completely developed yet and you're thinking about a master plan of how you want to do something, create something. They're telling you keep that to yourself until you manifest it. Okay. All right, moving on to Gemini. Weekend message, spirit, please show us the message for Gemini. Gemini, what is it for Gemini? June 15th and June 16th, what is their message? Gemini. Gemini. All right, Gemini, you could be dealing with the Pisces or have Pisces placements. You can be making plans with the Pisces, but it looks like something is still stagnant at this time. You have a choice to make, like where, what you're going to do, how you're going to do it. Show us more for Gemini. You could be dealing with the Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of you could be on the cups of Taurus, Gemini as well. Um, some of you could be making plans with the Aries. Take it however it resonates. Sagittarius. <coughs> Dang, you don't either <clears throat> you don't want to speak of a Sagittarius or a Sagittarius don't want you to speak of them. However, um but you could be dealing with a Sagittarius as well. But it looked like someone is um trying to make plans due to, you know, uh uh maybe a ma maybe a business or uh your work, your career. It's like how you gonna level how you gonna level this up? How are you gonna make this bigger than what it is or how you're gonna stabilize something? Okay. Something could be a little steel right now. It's not much movement, but it's because a plan needs to be made or you need to uh yeah, it's like you need to um, strategize, okay, how you gonna how you gonna work with this, how you gonna get it to the next level, okay? Maybe you are maybe you already got it to a level or this could be you working for a company and you're like, okay, I'm here now. I got this. Okay, things moving smoothly. Now, how am I going to level up? Something like that is going on. Um, I feel like right now you just need to be patient and go with the flow of how things are right now. Um, a move, a big move is not in, 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 in the making right now, especially if you already just made a big move. They're like, okay, slow down. We Okay, let's, let's plan things out with what we got now and move on up gradually. Because someone could be like, okay... What's next? Like, as soon as you make this, uh, okay, you just leveled up in your career, however this is. It's like, all right, on to the next. No, let's get settled in this and then work our way up. So you won't stress yourself out, you know, but, yeah. So something is, is stagnant right now because it needs to be. They need you to be patient. They need you to protect this. This also, this is also patience, also bring in protection as well because you end up figuring out like, okay, because if you're moving too quickly, how are you going to protect it? You're moving too fast. Like, so whatever this is, protect, protect your money, protect your business, protect, dang, a lot of money. Y'all leveling up for sure. But they're saying take your time. Make sure you protect. This is why they're saying protect it. Because you may have enemies. You may have people that's against you. You may have jealousy. You may have petty drama that's trying to come in. So just know. Yeah, with the follow with the tower and the seven of swords. Yeah. So they're saying like, yeah. and But you got the ace of swords with, with, with your victory. But something is being spoken to you. You're getting a clarity of maybe your enemies or people that are... This could be your time where you just need to protect whatever your money is, how you're going to uh, achieve a certain goal or whatever this is. Uh, yeah, so continue to uh, write out your plan. Figure out your plan, but don't take, don't make any um, swift moves right now, okay? Okay. So this weekend, yeah, that's what it is. I mean, of course, the message goes farther out for some of you, um, but whatever. That's the energy as of right now, okay? Moving on to Cancer. Weekend message for Cancer Spirit. Please show us a message for Cancer. Cancer. Spirit, please show us a message for cancer. All right. There's something about a message. 
It could be stagnant due to you getting through to someone. It's like communication. It could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It could be a Scorpio or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be about like a new opportunity, a new beginning, or finances, something like that. There could have been some betrayal here due to uh, a connection. Yeah, it could have been some betrayal due to a union, um, a, a relationship, a marriage, or um, yeah, something like that. Yeah, because we got a soulmate connection, twin flame. So it could have been a t soulmate, twin flame with the two of cups and a four of wands. It's also giving me like a marriage or um, just a union. But someone could have been trying to hold some money back, possibly due to, um, I don't know, a business, a, uh, a home. Yeah, someone is, someone was, yeah. Something is stagnant due to a message, though. Like, either you're trying to get through to someone, or someone is trying to get through to you. It could be a Pisces. Show us more. Or it could be a younger fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Show us more on this hangman energy for Cancer. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra. But the justice, something is, is stuck and stagnant due to... Um, the justice, judgment. Ooh, this is a powerful reading. So justice is being served due to someone's behavior. I heard misconduct. So someone could have handled something in a wrong way. And judgment day is, is coming or is here. or um, That's why something is being stuck, stagnant. That's why a message is not getting through. Something is not getting through because it's... Someone is being judged due to their behavior. Maybe this is pertaining to the courts. Maybe this is pertaining to a spiritual law. The hermit. So some, someone is, is needing to go within. Yeah. Someone needs to go within. Someone could have ghosted the situation and stopped communicating because of misconduct. Because of uh, being treated unfairly wrong. Um, some of you, you could be dealing with the law. It's, it's, it looks like you're a protector or someone is protecting, protecting you or someone is being protected from, from whatever this is. Yeah, so just know this weekend something is on, on pause, on delay, or just not, something is not getting through. A message is not getting through. But it's, it's, I feel like it's, it got through, but it's not, it's, it's no response to it because of the, uh, as they say, the misconduct. So I don't know. This could be you waiting on a response from the justice or you waiting on a response from this person, a Libra. Um, but it's like something is not getting through, regardless of the sign. But something isn't getting through. It's definitely it's stuck. But um, so place you wherever you belong in this message. Justice could be being served for you, or justice could be being reserved for this person. Um, yeah. And someone is is being led to go within and like rethink their plan, like how they was going about a situation because someone was not doing something fairly was not doing something right with you someone could have been holding back some money from you or you from them okay take it however it resonates but yeah it looks like someone is standing their ground someone is protecting their energy protecting them themselves this could be due to communication as well um so I don't know, take it how, maybe this is something that you need to do, or this person do. Take it however it resonate. Moving on to the cancer. Now, Leo. All right, Leo, spirit, please show us a message for Leo. Leo, what is Leo weekend message at this time? All right, Leo, something isn't working. They're saying it's time to put us, just stop. Listen to your intuition. It's time for something new. 
Yeah, it's like you're stuck. That's because it's something that isn't working. You got the Eight of Swords and the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, it's time to move on from something. It's time to move on. Let something go. Release this. It's not working. The chariot here, move forward. That's, that's going to be your victory. Move forward from this. Because it's just delaying you, keeping you stuck. Whether this is a person, place, or thing, okay? It's time to let go. It's time to move forward. Let it go. This could be a job. Show us. It could be a relationship. Or it could be just whatever you keep doing. They say it's time to stop. Okay? So you can receive your victory. So you can receive what you want. And this, whatever this is that you're doing, they're saying that ain't it. That's not, it's going to, it's going to block you. It's going to stop you. It's going to cause mental anguish. It's going to cause mental conflict. It's going to cause sleepless nights. It's going to cause, oh my gosh, why is not working? Because it's not meant to. Because it's meant for you to move forward. Okay. All right, moving on to uh, Virgo weekend message. What is Virgo weekend message spirit? All right, Virgo, what is it? Please show us a message for Virgo. Eight of Cups. What else for Virgo? They're advising someone to walk away. Stop doing something. You got the same, the similar, uh, you got similar energy as Leo. Okay, different cards, but it's the same message basically. But they're telling you to walk away from something. Maybe something you were doing in secret, okay, or something that you, you know, you thought it would, it would succeed. You thought it would work, but it didn't, and it's not going to work. Not a wands in reverse. It's like you're wasting your time. They're telling you to stop. Not a wands in reverse. They're telling you to stop, okay? And then you will receive justice, but you're going to have to surrender with the hangman and the justice for sure. You're going to have to stop doing something that you are doing, whatever this is, okay? This could be like you could have been trying to move forward with something and it's no progress. That's your sign. That's why they're telling you to stop. Okay, it's different for everyone. So this could be many different things, you know, depending on your situation. But this message should bring a, a it should it should bring some clarity to whatever your situation is. They're telling you it's time to walk away and stop. Just put it, put something to rest. Put something to rest. It's time to surrender. Put your hands up. Wipe your hands with something. You know what? I, nothing else I could do I can't do it anymore I see it's not bringing me any progress it's only just stagnating me let me just stop okay whatever this is okay definitely don't want to know the outcome of if you don't okay well for for now it's basically if you don't stop you're just going to be stuck you're going to be stagnant nothing is going to progress with whatever that is okay for some it could be something even bigger than that if you know, you continue to push and push and push. Like some sometimes we're we're uh, put in situations where you know don't give up, keep going. Yeah, spirit will let us know. It's going to be signs. Like okay, don't give up. It's going to be signs. But with this situation, whatever this is talking about, Virgo, they're saying uh, -uh. they showed you the signs that is not working. It's not going to work. Stop. Moving on to uh, Libra. 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 What is Libra? We get message spirit. Please show. What are you laughing at, Libra? Your energy is like funny. You watching something or someone silly or what did you just see or what was it today? For some Libra out there or someone in your energy cracking up laughing. <laughs> All right. Show us a message for Libra. La listen. That heals the soul. So there's nothing wrong. Laugh. Find something to laugh about. Okay? Maybe that is your message. Find something to laugh about. Show us a message for Libra. Libra. 
One more for Libra. 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 What is Libra message at this time for this weekend, spirit? Libra. What are you holding back from? You holding back from laughter? Is that what it is? That's why they're trying to tell you laugh. Uh, smile. Smile for me. Can you just smile for me? <laughs> Show us more for Libra. Yeah, you holding back tough. What are you, what are you holding back from? Your happiness? You holding back from love? You missing someone? Someone could be like kind of stuck on in a situation, possibly due to a mother. Maybe you're missing a mother or someone feels stuck they can't go towards a mother. Maybe you need yeah, and for them to say like, you know, bring up the smiling situation. That, you know, and the laughter for me to even mention the healing of the soul, like, is through laughter. Like, that does help you, like, heal through things. So, sometimes you, it's good to just put on a funny movie, um, uh, just, you know, listen to some comedy or something to bring that laughter out or be around people that make you laugh, okay? Like, something like that. But this could be you. Or this could be someone else that's wanting to be around you. Someone could be a Cancer, a Taurus, a Libra, a Aries. But yeah, someone is feeling stuck possibly because of transportation or uh, due to the distance. Someone is heartbroken. What is going on? So someone is feeling stuck here. Four of Pentacles and the Hangman. Show us more on the Hangman for Libra. Yeah, that's your message today. Smile for me. Can you just smile for me? <laughs> All right, now the cups. You may want, you may, are you desiring a love interest or someone is into you? It's like someone is in, admiring you or they're liking you possibly from a distance. They want to communicate, but, or this is you because you're coming up as the king of swords. That's your energy. Or that you could be dealing with another air sign, a masculine air sign. Take it however it resonates, but someone could be interested in a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But someone is stuck, they can't get towards someone right now. So someone is trying to, someone could be trying to sneak back in. Yeah. Seven of Swords, Six of Swords, someone is trying to sneak back towards you. Someone, um, also, mm -mm, someone may just want sex, but I feel love and sex here. Maybe you just, you like, man, I need some, <laughs> I don't know, but this weekend just seemed like you need to smile more, okay? Yeah, that, the healing of the soul, the star. You might be deciding to move on from someone because they lie. Like, you you like truth. You like honesty. You like, you know, integrity. And I feel like this person may not be bringing that to the table. And you kind of like getting over it. You want to move forward to someone you can trust. Or this is someone else feeling this way about you. You just want your life to be more balanced. It could be, yes, yeah, it's, it's two masculines here. For some of you, you could be de dealing with... Um, for some of you, you could be just dealing with your boss, not as in a romantic way, but like this could be business wise. You could be making some secret deals that's going to make you happy. Yeah, this could be a good a good move for you. It's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of uh, a lot of responsibilities, but it's worth it because it's bringing in the big bucks. Okay, <laughs> so whatever that is for someone, maybe you're a business owner, you're an entrepreneur, you're trying to seek more financial opportunities, it's coming. It definitely looks like that's being orchestrated <laughs> and it's ha that's happening now. But for this weekend, I feel like right now they're wanting you to like overcome this stagnation. Maybe you've just been still, not really making a move, you've just been up, up in your head, thinking a lot, um, communicating maybe, but not really no action um but be mindful of uh, energy that is just wanting sex with you and that's it okay 
who is this show us one more for uh libra weekend message okay this is someone that may have betrayed you in the past okay so show us more for libra or you could have you could have ended it with but they don't want to okay so they just there's they do want sex with you okay but they're trying to sneak back in to work things out. They want you to over, just overlook what has happened, okay? It's like, not overlook. They want you to forgive them, basically. It's just, can you let that go, basically, with the ten of swords in reverse? Like, I know you, I heard you, but can you let that go? Can we work on this partnership, okay? It could be a Taurus for some of you. We have Gemini energy. Um, Now, for some of you... There's a work, some type of work situation. I don't know. You got something new that's approaching. You may want to keep this to yourself until you really get it off the ground. All right, moving on to uh, Scorpio Weekend Message Spirit. Please show us a message for Scorpio Weekend Message. For June 15th and June 16th. Show us a message for Scorpio. Alright, Scorpio. What is it? Let's see. Show us a message. Okay. Alright, Scorpio. You could be dealing with the Aries. We have the Emperor here. Or you could be just like... You could be in this energy of this Emperor. Let's get more on the Emperor. This could be a father figure as well. Show us more. The Tower. Hmm, something is shocking, or this, someone may want to, yeah, something unexpected. Show us more with the tower and the emperor. Justice. Three major arcanas. You're about to receive your justice here. It could have been a tower moment between, maybe a tower. Something could have blew up or ended, possibly between you and the Aries or, uh, Scorpio or uh, or Libra but I'm also getting like something due to let's get more on a justice for Scorpio something okay you got some type of shocking news but it's justice here someone could be in love with you like someone may want to express their feelings this could be your justice. Show us more. But someone... Okay, wait. You could be holding back from his lover. Someone also want to bring justice to an ending. Maybe because of another lover. They could have been holding information back from you. Or this could have been you. For some of you, this person, whoever this is, is, is holding on to you tightly. They don't want to let you go. Yeah, they don't. Ace of Wands, they want a passionate new beginning. They want to come in passionately. Show us more for Scorpio. Yeah, someone don't want to let you go. Someone could be a, their own boss. Their, someone could be an entrepreneur. Someone could be... Dang, Scorpio. You, your energy. For some of you, you could be holding back from this person. Maybe you're losing interest because of the distance. Yeah. Um, so there could be a, a transformation that's happening here due to passion. Like you, you may have lost some passion or you're losing passion. Show us more on death. But there is a transformation that's happening. Show us more with death. Some of you, you came up in Aries reading, and Aries is coming up in yours. You may want to check out Aries. Show us more on death. Show us more on death. I don't know, Scorpio. Someone could be choosing you between a, you and another lover. Show us more on two of ones. Yeah, they want to reconnect. They want to come back together, six of cups. Someone is want to return, Scorpio. I don't know how you feel, but I feel like I feel like it's still passion there, but I feel like you could be kind of holding back because 
of lack of like lack of it could have been communication because I'm seeing I'm not seeing no communication here or something happened the tower happened so th something something happened with this tower show us more on the tower spirit what happened show us more on the tower for a Scorpio message show us more on this tower communication so like I said I didn't see any communication here and the tower uh, an abrupt ending could have happened due to communication. Someone could have involvement with the law, some type of issue with law and finances as well, whether you or this person. But there's definitely um, love. It's love here, and it's genuine love. Someone is in love with you. Like I said, this person is holding on to you. You could be kind of holding back, or this person is holding back from communicating their their feelings towards you. But they're coming in. It's like, yes. Yeah, uh, this transformation is you and this person coming back together or whether this is long term or just to communicate. But I don't know. Someone may need to take uh, I mean not. No. Someone may need to to set boundaries with this person. Because I feel like this person is too risky or they're just not consistent. Yeah. Yeah. They may. Yeah. I don't know. They get. They. Or this could have been a past energy, but it could have been competition. Like I said, it is two lovers or another lover in the mix. Whether you're dealing with another lover or this person is dealing with another lover. Or it could be an ex of this person that couldn't let go of them and. They could be causing um, the five of wands and this person like, well, I'm not even dealing with nobody. But this could be the case. Like it could still be the energy of an ex of theirs that's trying to cause this um, battle. But I feel like someone is being free, set free with the eight of swords here in reverse. So for some of you, um, yeah, someone is returning six of swords in reverse. They're returning. They're letting their guards down. Maybe they could have been like in the seven of wands energy blocking you or uh if not blocking probably just not communicating letting you know their moves how they're going to do things or what they want with you so it looked like all that is being released now someone is wanting to return to you so someone is coming out of this eight of swords they're coming out of this blockage of this blockage and they're returning six of swords in reverse okay and even the six of cups this is return energy as well so it could be shocking to you, like how things ended between you and this person. The law could have got involved or something like that as well. Or if not, the law is just the law could be involved. Like this person could have some legal issues or you do. OK, but I feel like something is being handled. Also, I feel like um, whoever was trying to cause uh, like. A split up or tr or if if it was a third party that was trying to get in between this you're protected from this or they're protected yeah it could have been a third party you and this person is going to reunite together you you're gonna come back together okay that's just what it is three of cups the star okay you're gonna heal you and this person could be um, healers some of you you could be dealing with an Aquarius they want to give you an offer or you want to give this person an offer. Some of you is an Aquarius or a Libra or another Scorpio or Pisces or Aries. Okay. Taurus energy is here. So I don't know. Take it however it resonates, but it do look like someone is wanting to just pop back up. <laughs> yeah. All right. Moving on to, uh, Sagittarius weekend message. Sagittarius weekend message. Sagittarius weekend message. Sagittarius weekend message. Spirit. What is the message? You could be dealing with the Aries, or you could just be on your boss. <laughs> you could be in your boss energy right now. You know, you could be, uh, maybe you're a, a business owner, okay? Hmm. Or this could be your husband, or you could be the husband, or this could be a father figure. 
show us more on the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here for Sagittarius? Some show us more on the Knight of Pentacles. We got death. Okay. Scorpio energy, but um What is this? Death? Whoa. Show us more on death for Sagittarius. Why is death here? Nine of Wands in reverse. Something could have slowed down and it ended. And now someone could be... Someone may feel defeated here. Yeah, due to someone's success. So either you making big moves or this person is, however, take it however it resonate. But someone is is um someone is feeling defeated. Someone felt at a loss. Like things could have slowed down due to what someone was trying to do, or this could be like someone could have been trying to slow you down. Okay? Slow your work down, slow your business down, but you continue to succeed. You continue to have success or to just slow you down emotionally, however this is. But it looked like you're overcoming it. Some of you could be dealing with the Gemini. It could have been stagnation with love. And it could be because of this person, Pisces energy here as well. Some of you could be dealing with another fire sign. Some of you have a love offer or um, someone may want to message you or you want to message this person. Possibly a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Feminine energy. Or it could be a male. Take it however. But um, they could be well balanced in their masculine and feminine energy. Which is awesome. Um, yeah, but for most of you, it definitely looked like the main message here is you on your boss stuff. Or this person is. Take it however. Someone was trying to slow someone down. Someone is feeling defeated because someone is still successful. Or they oh they overcame the obstacles and they still like they keep overcoming whatever or you 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 keep overcoming whatever this is and yeah you're still flourishing like I'm good over here <laughs> like oh that's not gonna stop me yeah <laughs> tell them it's not gonna stop you someone thought it was gonna slow them down forever or just no. Yeah, let them know. Like, no, nah, don't. You don't even got to say nothing. Just, just continue to shine. Continue to do what you do. Okay. Moving on to uh, Capricorn. Weekend message there. Please show us a message for Capricorn. Capricorn. All right, Capricorn. You got the four of wands and the high priestess here. Hmm. It could be a little quiet here due to a home situation or a union. Show us more. You could be following your intuition due to a home. Show us some. Show us more on this high priestess. High priestess for Capricorn. High priestess clarified with the hang, hangman in reverse. Yeah, someone could be surrendering here to, like maybe um. Yeah, things could have been stagnant because of a secrecy. Like, someone could have been keeping something quiet, but this was causing stagnation. So, someone is um, wanting to surrender now. Like, all right, let me go ahead and just speak up. Let me say what I need to say. Or show us more. Someone could be a Pisces and highly intuitive. And your energy shows we have the sun here yeah this person may bring clarity to you or you could be receiving happiness due to you opening up or just um surrender into a situation show us more on the four of wands yeah this could be like communication um as mentioned so the queen of swords is really like because the high priestess is you, like, being quiet, secret, you know, not wanting to speak up. But they're telling you this weekend, or it 
coming up. It don't. The timing is different for everyone, so please take it however it resonates for you. But with the hangman in reverse, it's like, okay, let me surrender to this. Let me go ahead and open up so I can be happy again or just so I can gain some clarity. Maybe, you know, being quiet or being secret, secretive is causing, you know, the other person to be that way and you're not gaining clarity or whatever. I don't know. But there, th this message is telling you, you know, it's time to surrender to being secretive, being quiet or whatever. Speak up. Uh, speak up so you can like you're gonna actually receive happiness out of this like maybe it's due to a family situation or a union show us more on the four of wands four of wands some of you got some good news coming in due to a home <clears throat> this could be a, buying a home renting a home however this is or selling a home it's still good news either way it go um some of you could be planning to go towards someone at a distance. Um, you could be making your mind up to a situation. Some of you, some of you could be going somewhere where, um, where, there's, where, where it's hot. Or maybe you live where it's hot. Um, I mean, it is summertime now, it's true. Well, <laughs> for me it is. But some places it's not summer yet. Um, what, it's a June 21st or something like that? But, yeah, so I just feel like it's time to communicate. That's what it's saying here. <laughs> maybe maybe you could have been keeping something quiet about a move or a home, a situation or whatever. It's like, okay, now is the time you can open up about it. Um, it's okay to, to speak on your happiness now. Maybe, you know, you are holding back and listening to your intuition, to your intuition which you should have. You could have um, decided, I'm not saying nothing about it. I'm just going to keep it to myself till things move forward, whatever. Something is changing where it's okay for you to open up now. It's okay for you to express something, whatever this is. Now, for some of you, this is pertaining to someone, like communicating, you know, communicating to someone. It definitely looks like someone is receiving happiness here. Um... It's like someone is watching and seeing something, seeing someone communicate, seeing someone happy. So this could be you, like, I don't know. Their main message is like, open up, surrender to whatever this is. It's okay for you to express your feelings, express, you know, communication. So it's, it's, this is a good time for you to do that, maybe this weekend. Um, it could be a, a air sign that could be reaching out to you, communicating something to you. Maybe about a child. Someone could have a, a Leo child or a Gemini child or a Pisces child. Um, but yeah, some communication is coming in that could be making you really happy. For some of you, like I said, it could be about a home or something about, you know, something at a distance as well. All right, take it however it resonates for you. At this time, Capricorn. Moving on to Aquarius. Aquarius. Spirit, please show us a message for Aquarius. Aquarius. What is it? Please show us a message for Aquarius. <laughs> Aquarius. Hey. The star. Shine bright like a diamond. Show us more on this energy for Aquarius. All right. The Knight of Swords in reverse. I feel like, oh, show us one more on the Knight of Swords and Reverse Spirit. Show us one more on the Knight of Swords. Okay, yeah, shine bright like a diamond, like I was getting. All right, so I feel like you have a fresh new start that's approaching. Something is healing. Whatever this is, it was, you could have been feeling stuck. Uh, did not know which way to go, how to move, how to get out of a situation. But it looked like you're being set free. Eight of Swords in reverse. Someone could be getting out of jail, too. This could be actual physical jail. For some of you, this could be spiritual jail. You know, you learned the lesson, now you're free. Um, that does happen, you know, once you... But sometimes people get stuck in spiritual jail because they didn't learn a lesson they was hard-headed or they had way too many times but this situation if this was you at all you are free now so 
I feel like things are about to take off for you. Um, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that could be sad or heartbroken. Because you have this passion in New Vienna, maybe this person was trying to keep you stuck and bind it. <laughs> like, they was, they was holding on to you, trying to keep you stuck or whatever, but you're free. Yeah. Something ended. And they getting a message about this. And they like. And then I'm here. Uh, mm. Someone miss you. They miss you. That could be the same person that was trying to keep you stuck. But anyway. You could have been dealing with an Aquarius. A Gemini. Um, a fire sign. Any fire sign. But there's definitely a transformation that's happening for you. So you could have this passion in the beginning. So you could be feeling this freedom this weekend. Like a weight lifted off your shoulders. Good. Alright, Pisces. Pi Dang, Pisces. Alright, Pisces. Please show us a message for Pisces. Pisces. Pisces, what you got going on here? Okay. No. Pisces, but I'm hearing nothing but death can keep me from her. So it could be nothing but but death could keep me from him. Nothing but death could keep me from her. Um I don't know. What y'all got going on, but let's see. Show us a message for Pisces. 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 What is Pisces weekend message? Please show us. Pisces. Pisces. Three of Cups. Yeah, you want to reunite with someone? Some of you could be celebrating something this weekend. But someone want to reunite with someone, okay? Someone genuinely love you or you genuinely love someone. You want a fresh new start. You want to go ahead and take a chance. You want to take a risk. You want to take that leap of faith towards someone or someone is wanting to do this with you. Yeah, someone love you or you love this person. You could love each other. Shoot, I don't know. Show us more on this, <laughs> on this energy for uh, Pisces. Someone may want to marry you. Or they want, you could be dealing with the earth sign, a Virgo. Or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Scorpio energy here as well. Someone could be on the cusp of uh, a Libra, Virgo. Or someone could be a Libra or a Gemini. Someone is in love, but someone is sad. Did you break up with this person? And that's why they're saying nothing but death can keep me from her or him, okay? But there's some sadness and regret here due to a lover. Maybe this your ex, Pisces. I don't know. You moved on and they like, I hope they're not saying that. Nothing but death can keep me from her. Because that's crazy. That ain't good. But uh, someone is definitely emotional. They want to balance things out with you. Yeah, you could be in this energy. Um, if you're a male, you could be dealing with a, uh, another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is someone who's very intuitive. Um, someone who is kind, loving, nurturing, or this is you. Yeah, someone is wanting to come back and work things out. They're manifesting you. Yeah, someone is like, please come back to me. Yeah, someone is definitely uh, wanting you to come back to them. They're 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 sad. They're regretting. Yeah, they're in regret. Yeah, things slow down between you and them, and they just stopped. And yeah, it's. Mhm. Mm yeah, dang, this Queen of Cups came right back out. Ten of Pentacles. Someone definitely could want a family with you or you want a family with this person 
or you want forever like yeah or this person want this with you please take it however it resonates but someone is in love with you but they're sad and they regret and something let me get more on the five of cups before i let go of this message spirit please show us more on this five of cups for pisces show us more on this five of cups for pisces why is this sadness here? This regret here. Show us more on the Five of Cups. Someone could be sad, regretting the situation due to a Scorpio. Show us more on the Five of Cups. Five of Cups. Clarify. Five of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Five of Cups for Pisces. Let it come out. Someone could be highly intuitive. The High Priestess. I think I mentioned that. Um, but now the high priestess is here too. Yeah, and then a queen of cups. Someone is sad over a uh, over a queen of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or this is you that someone is sad about. They sad about you, or you're sad about this person. Mhm. Mm someone could have been promiscuous in the past or something. This could could be why something ended. Yeah, king, oh, this is a match, but it's not a match. Okay, king and queen here. The masculine is in reverse. The queen of cups is in the upright. So regardless of the signs, they don't necessarily have to be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It could just be, I mean, you are Pisces for sure. So you're one of these, whether you're the male or the female. But if you're the, in the masculine energy, someone could have turned their emotions off didn't put in the effort like they should have towards this Queen of Cups, which could be you or towards this Queen of Cups outside of you. Something was laid to rest, and someone is wanting to recover, but someone moved on. Something You moved on, you let go, or this person did. Yeah, so someone could be sad and regretting that. That could be the same person as wanting to come back towards you, or this is you wanting to go back towards this person. Or some of you, you already moved on to something happy, and it's an ex that's wanting to return, and they're sad, and they're regretting ever leaving you. Or you ever leaving them. Please take it however it resonates. You know your story. You know your situation. But that is it for y'all weekend message. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all enjoyed or received some clarity from your message at this time. Um, definitely always look into your other signs, your moon, your rising, your Venus, your north node, south node, all that good stuff. Uh, if you don't know your natal chart, the information is listed in the description of this video as well. Um, don't forget to thumbs up, like the video. Please show your love and support. If it didn't resonate with you this week, check out next week i will also be uploading a weekly message for you all too um i can't really give the day just just yet but monday i will be live for live q and a's definitely tune in over there make sure your notification bell is selected so you will be notified when i upload videos okay let's get this back moving let's get the views back up let's get get this back going in the algorithm i have been gone for almost a year in youtube but i never stopped i've been in patreon i still do personal readings that never stopped okay um i am talented at cars with cars but i am gifted with my psychic medium so it would never stop okay but thank you all so much i appreciate you until next time many many blessings